Hi guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. Today we're going to show you how to replace the engine computer, the ECU, on a Jaguar X-Type. Okay, you can see the one right here. Stay with us to see how we're going to do that. We're going to show you how to do that in a way that you won't need to program it. If you, if you have the cluster from the other donor vehicle, so all, all that need to come from the vehicle, uh, donor vehicle. Okay, you need the uh, instrument cluster, you need the computer, with the alarm module and the the GEM module, okay, you can see the one on top and the bottom is the ECU. Also, you need the key from the other car as well. And that way, you don't need to have any programming to stay with us to show you all you need to do. So you can replace the computer and your car will be working again. Stay with us to see how we are going to do that. Okay, now you need to first unhook the battery. Or okay, both cables positive and negative and make sure that you do that before you start the repair because even if you install a new computer you might burn it if you have the the cables on so we need to do the negative as well both of them okay just like that and if you want to make sure that you don't have any electricity in the computers you can just touch both of them and that way it will discharge the computers okay guys next thing that you need to go you need to go to the Left side of the vehicle, the, actually the phone tray, this will be passenger side in US and UK it will be the driver's side and that's where the wiring for the computer is, okay, as you can see right here, uh, that goes towards the ECU and you need a special tool, we'll show you now, it's supposed to be with five, it's kind of like a star looking with a hole in the middle, but we're going to use that screwdriver, if you get uh, exact same size screwdriver as thou, that, it will get stuck there pretty good and you can actually turn it by hand. You can even use the pliers on the screwdriver if you need to. If, if, if it's really stuck at first. And then you can just go ahead and pull the cable out. Okay, now we're going to show exactly what it looks like right there. And this is the wiring harness for the computer itself. Now right there we have two nuts with 10 millimeter socket and long extension that we will need to remove. Okay, just like that, one is on this side and one is on the other side. It's not the most convenient place, but it doesn't take long to, to remove it actually. Okay, and then we, we have one more on the other side as well, right there. And you're pretty much done under the hood. Now we need to open the glove box. We have the video how to remove the glove box on our channel or find it in the description below. We have the playlist for the Jaguar as well. And once you remove it, let me show you where exactly the computer is located. Okay, it's right there. As you can see, and there is only one nut that holds it now with a 10 millimeter socket. Okay, the one right there. So you need to remove this one. Okay, just like that. And it's not very complicated procedure, that's what the nut looks like. And now you can go ahead and pull it out of the... Okay, right there. And now you can unhook all the wires. And what you need to do in order to do that, you need to press right there and pull. Okay. You can see just like that and all of them come and they're cover coated on top you can see where the covers are right here so we cannot confuse get confused and mix them up later everything is pretty much good so we just need to do like that and remove all the wiring okay and that's the ECU guys as ECU computer with the GEM module itself Okay, next, in order to remove the instrument cluster, you need to get the steering wheel in down position all the way and you can pull it towards you if you need to as well. You can pull it all the way so it's not in the way. And now with a prying tool or a screwdriver, you need to pry the trim right here. Okay, just like that. As you can see, there is a few clips here and there. Just careful not to break them. Okay. You can hear them coming out and now it comes out in a certain angle and that's what the trim looks like. We're pretty much done there, pretty simple. And now we have four the screws that we need to remove with a few of screwdriver as you can see in each corner there. 
and that way we'll remove the plastic and we'll be able to get to the instrument cluster itself. So it's it's not a complicated view and you don't need any special tools for that repair as well. Okay, and this is the last one now. We removed all four of them. Now you can go ahead and pull the plastic trim out. Okay, that's what it looks like. And now there is four more that we will need to remove in each corner again of the instrument cluster. Okay, as you can see we just showed you where they are. With the Phillips screwdriver remove the four screws. Okay, this is the last screw now. So nothing is holding the instrument cluster. Now you can go ahead and remove it. Okay, you just pull it out. Now we have the wiring still on the back right here. So there is one little notch that we will need to press down. Okay, we need to get the cable out of the groove first. And now we need to press down right here and pull the black piece out and all the way out. And it will come out the wire. And there is one more. It's black on the left side as well. You need to go ahead and remove it. It's, it's the same, same way, the same design. You just need to press the little notch on the top and push. Okay, and that's the instrument cluster guys, that's how you remove it. Alright guys, we installed a new ECU, the new computer and we installed the cluster and now we took the old key apart, the one that we got from the donor vehicle and that's the immobilizer chip inside of it right here. So what do you need to do? You need to take your key apart now and you need to open it like that, you need to pry it right there and it opens in two halves now. Okay, just like that and now you need to work on the front half. What you need to do, you can see where the immobilizer is right here, so now you need to replace this one. Alright guys, when we open it just a little bit on the front side, not too much because otherwise the spring is going to jump and it's really hard to deal with that little spring there. So now what you need to do, you need to install the new one here. And also inside you will need to, you will need to use the board, the circuit board for the remote control from the donor vehicle as well. So that way you still keep the front piece on your on your key, but you don't have to actually uh, re replace every lock and the steering wheel lock on the car as well. So that way you can just replace the electronic components. Alright okay, guys, here it is now. What you need to do, you need to make sure that you turn the key uh, unlock the car with the key when you install the battery and the new computer and your cluster. And now let's see if it's going to start. Okay, everything looks good. And it fired right up. We'll need to clear the engine light, probably will be on because there was no connection with the computer. But everything else is fine guys, everything works good. So it's, it's working pretty good. That's how you do it if you don't want to program it, you need to find the whole the whole kit thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and give us a like we have a new video every day is that super nervous